Welcome to Wendy's Wonderful World of Wonder. <laughs> Wonderful World of Wonder. <laughs> Wendy wonders about the world. <laughs> yes, I do. Good day, good love, and great light. Illuminators and way shores, thank you for joining me. If you're new to my channel, I'm Wendy. This is my husband, Dave, and we're coming to you from our front porch here in central Alabama. And it's actually quite a balmy morning. Right now it's, I don't know, in the mid 40s or something already. Mm -hmm. And the sun is really warm. So it's gonna be about 65 degrees Fahrenheit mm -hmm. today, which we discovered was about 18, 18 degrees Celsius. Celsius. So happy holy days to all of you. However, wherever, whenever you're celebrating, may we all simply vibrate in this energy of love sharing, kindness, forgiveness. Um, many of us are busy, busy, busy with family. Many of us have already done that sort of thing. Maybe you're new at it. Um, maybe you're on your own. Whatever and however it is that you are expressing your gratitude for the energy of unconditional love, of unity consciousness, however we want to describe it. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. We actually just wanted to do a quick impromptu uh, oracle card reading, say hello, um, share what's going on with us. Um, and for all of you who, who do know us, thanks for being back with us and hanging out. We love you guys so much. And oh God, and your your all of your love and sharings and comments um just really um touch my heart uh that's really the, the easiest way to say it so um so we're just really enjoying this beautiful saturday uh morning as we record this so it's uh what december 23rd um 2023 so we are you know closing up this year and one of the things that we love to talk about and share is um, our, of course, connections to all that is and all the ways that we express that, um, how I express it. Um, <laughs> there's so many things that, that I feel passionate about that I love to share. So I express that in so many different ways, um, whether it's light language, whether it's um, just hanging out, whether it's you know, bringing in messages through the Oracle cards. Um, I don't do tarot if you're new. Uh, I don't, I only use the Oracle cards in the, in the idea that the, the tarot, the tarot is a very specific, specific set of cards with specific kind of meetings. And, um, I like the Oracle cards in the sense that they're very, very expansive and broad in the idea that we can kind of, um, you know, bring in all kinds of information and energies and, and what you, did you wanna... you've been expressing yourself a lot through art. That's true. And you <laughs> so... can find more of that on Wendy's website, languagesoflights.com. Yes. Uh, which I'm sure we'll add a link to that below. Yes, thank you for mentioning that. So yes, one of my one of my latest expressions has been light language, light codes through and bringing it through art, mm -hmm. through painting, through drawing, um, and including these sacred circuitries and um, information that I've downloaded and to embed it into the paintings and embed it into the artwork and um, just in a way to, to, to express my energy and put it out there and share it to, to the collective consciousness. And we created a new calendar oh, for yes. 2024. So yes. Um, which this year is oh, we going forgot to, to contain, bring the hey, we'll do another video okay. about that. But this year will is containing uh, an original artwork for each month. For each month, and then the cover is also and, an original. So it's, and also the light language symbols. Uh, so maybe representing yeah. the, the, the different moon cycles and things uh, within the calendar and journal. And journal, Entry. yes. So basically, right, we'll do the, a different video about that. Okay, well, we'll okay. That yeah, because we we printed it out and stuff, and it's out for print. Um, actually, uh, it, it'll be it'll be also available in hard copy on There's Amazon. There's a hard copy version. And a digital version, which you could download right from the website. Oh, and, and there's yourself. and Dave's been working on on adding a lot of the digital um, downloads for all you guys of downloadable JPEGs of the artwork to the so you can just print it out um, and use it in any way that you are um, inspired to. And um, let's pick a card. 
yeah, let's do that. So, mm, I grabbed a couple of decks. We're still drinking our coffee. Um, and just inspirational. I grabbed, um, this is the one, oh, too, if you watched my video the other day, the one that I was going to do a reading with the um, Angels and Ancestors. And I always like to read the inside of the box because it always seems to mean a lot um, to preface it. It's actually really pretty warm here in the sun, so I'm kind of surprised for this time of December. And it rarely snows here. Um, and so this is just perfect weather to be sitting out here and enjoying this with all of you. So we wanted to share, I wanted to share a little bit of that too to all of you maybe who are <laughs> in the more northern parts and perhaps it's not quite as, quite as warm and sunny. So I set the intention that whatever is gained from the lessons learned from this tool will be dedicated to the growth of all beings in all places. Guardians of the Four Corners, Mother in the Earth, Father in the Sky, Angels, Ancestors, Sacred Ones, I call on you and welcome you here now. And that's one of the reasons why I think I saved this for this reading because, you know, as we celebrate um, these holy days, however we are, that I think a lot of us are thinking about angels and ancestors. The angels that are with us, the angels that have been guiding us all of our lives, we um, are attuned to their energy at this time of year, especially because we're all in tune to our own holiness, our own sacredness. Um, and many of us who have departed loved ones, you're you're welcoming, it, you're remembering them, you're welcoming them into the home, um, and the idea of also is we're thinking about even. Um, if we want to look at it linearly, our ancestors, uh, you know, our great grandparents and, and so forth and how the traditions, uh, many of us uh, t hold to, 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 to this day that were based on the things that our ancestors had given us, whether it's what we make, you know, what we're baking, what we're cooking, what we're, what we're drinking. There's, um, you know, always seems to be special things that you could make any time of year, but you save them for this type of time of year because it's that um, the type the kind of weather you know um, uh, it's the, it, you associate those things with that time of year and you're celebrating your angels and your ancestors by recreating these these foods and so forth um, so that was one of the reasons why I was guided to this particular deck so that we can all uh, honor them in any way and and remembering that, The, there is no distance between us except vibration. And they're no longer thinking, feeling, worrying about the things that they did when they were having this human experience. And so let us all take this moment and these moments and this energy and ushering into this 2024, um, the vibration of acceptance forgiveness acceptance forgiveness forgiveness is acceptance if we can just remember that that we're all just here having experience doing the best we can and that ushering in this this frequency be, it, it vibrates that 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 frequency of unconditional love that we all know is a part of us, that we seek in everything we look at, in, in animals and nature, um, the isness. Um, so, with that said, <laughs> um, I think I'd like to offer a light language blessing. Now I'm getting really hot too. Mm -hmm. The clouds are in and out, so one minute it's like really hot. <laughs> the sun is amazingly hot here, um, even at this time of year. So it feels pretty warm. I might have to <laughs> let go of one of my my flannels here. The zima sopatashiana elizabotovi hami shapakunimira vasamoni vehalaki. This is literally a, a, a um, an invitation to open our hearts, literally in our minds, and 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 see things from this more more open loving accepting and allowing uh frequency in this new year and if if we take the opportunity to do those things whether it's whether it is journaling whether it's just waking up in the morning and just deciding that today i'm going to be more allowing i'm going to be more loving and accepting in any, any way that i can
Stargazer, set your sights higher. Set your sights higher. Well, there we go. That really does mirror the message I was feeling. Setting our sights higher. Seeing it from a higher perspective. Well, we say higher perspective. What does that mean, Dave? Mm -hmm. What does that mean, higher perspective? We hear it all the time, a higher vibration. What does that mean? In a human... Well, I think as you increase your vibration, you see more that's already there, so you're able to discern and see with more clarity uh, the things that are already in existence. And because every now includes all nows, the higher you vibrate, the more of the now you're able to Oh, puppy. She wants to come out and play with us. <laughs> the more you're able to see, uh, experience. Uh, so. And, and in the idea of setting your sights higher, too, I feel like we also have belief systems that are that are, are preventing us from believing that we can set our sights higher. That maybe this new year for all of us is to um set our sights higher in the idea that uh eliminating the the belief systems that are keeping us um into the vibration of the 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 lower the what do I want to say the lower vibration earth yeah and and i think experience. too and there's symbols essentially on you use your imagination to create the reality that you want and you're always expanding and growing so that means always be looking to set your sights higher because there's always something more the more never ends uh, yes there's so a, yes by by using your imagination to set your sights higher to imagine more to imagine more things of your preference more things uh, that excite you Yes. That allows more of those things to not only become into come into your awareness, but it also allows those things to manifest because you're now adjusting your belief systems to allow those things to happen. And it's a continually <laughs> changing thing. You're always going to be expanding and seeing more and more possibilities. And uh, I'll use a little, quick little example. If, if you're a musician, and someone says, like, what's your biggest dream? And at, at, in that moment, your biggest dream might be, you know, to play a, a stadium filled with people and to, to be the star and head attraction of that thing. Well, how could you make that bigger? And we certainly have a lot of artists that have achieved even way more than that. Yes. Maybe from the place that you're at, maybe you're just on a corner playing for whoever walks by, your greatest imagination is being in a stadium filled with people. Well, use the examples that already exist to set your yep. sights even higher. And it doesn't matter when it manifests, how it manifests. Just the idea of setting those sights higher opens you up for much greater possibilities. And uh, so, you know, of course, we're interested in the idea of open contact and extraterrestrials and things like that and being out in space uh, the, the humanity <laughs> of earthlings moving beyond just earth and that's how I've been setting my sights so, higher too is so, thinking about that you know, that what, idea what so would that be like What what's a higher idea than filling a stadium full of people and of course this is I think we're going to have to go address I think we're going to go have to so of our girl. But yeah, setting your to, sights higher might be being on a starship touring the galaxies <laughs> exactly playing your music sharing your now that's a cool now that is a very very cool example of using your imagination because most of us really wouldn't think that high or that you know like it wouldn't even occur to us that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what's going to occur that but but it does mean that that all, because you've imagined it that now you know it already exists that is the magic of this 
What? And you can't imagine something that doesn't, that doesn't exist. exist. So even the idea that, you know, be it a year from now or 10 years from now. Well, I think of it, a year it, before it, it, for us here. It, well, you know, if alien ships land, <laughs> we, we get along with them and we want to, you know, share space exploration with them. It's really not that far fetched of an idea for exactly. the for artists that are well, in the vibration of those kinds of how things about we to be even... asked to come in. Oh my God, the, you know, your music is so touching to us, and we don't really have music in that way around the galaxy. Come in, come let in, us let... share your music and your performing. You know, with with planets and civilizations all, all over the galaxy. All, right? Why why limit yourself to Earth? <laughs> I like that idea. Well, I was, I was thinking about you and your own personal example and how. And, t and today is fifteen. Yes, which uh, is manifest. So the sacred circuitry. Which, um, which you could see the daily sacred circuitry on Wendy's website, but I don't, I don't see if you can see. Can you it. see it out there? Yeah, you can see it. Uh huh. Manifest. So, so that's the symbol for today. To, for today is manifest. And I actually thought about that early this morning. And we're um, talking about manifest. So when you're looking at setting your sights higher, oh, and. His his eyeglass, if you notice, um, has I'm trying to hold it has symbols on it. So I'm talking about symbols and sacred circuitry and putting them in uh, artwork and setting my sights higher. And that it's it's for the world to um, interpret vibrationally in whatever way serves them. And that is so exciting to me. Um, but I wanted to say too about you and a year ago and having Dave was out of work for what over well over a year, it's like two years, like, really. Oh, two years. Yeah. And so we really didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know if we we're going to be able to stay here. We didn't know. And all I kept thinking was how do I want it to be? How do I want things to turn out? Um, and every time I got that icky feeling, you know, going to the grocery store, spending any money at all, I thought, is that the vibration of what I really want? No. Move into the vibration of having it. How do I feel? What is that feeling I'm looking for? You know, it's, you know, and, and, and how can I create that vibration right now and thinking about what it is like. And now here we are. And the funny thing about it is, um, you know, all these well a couple years later now it's been really a three-year journey really with this whole situation for you and then he gets a, 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 a fortune cookie and in it it says something like um something about you may be successful in the field of engineering it was almost immediately that the company called that he had uh, applied with for like a year prior practically mm -hmm. and it's in the aerospace industry um and mm -hmm. So it, it was like, it was like, how do I even explain what I'm feeling? It's like, yes, I saw it. Like I could see, we even went to Huntsville, Alabama, looking at the rocket. And I got all those tingles in my tummy that tell me, and I told him that day, I'm like, somehow you and that is going to be related. And, and we passed by another rocket on the highway. Oh, that's right. Which we now found out shortly after after that had they been re it. re did was re I thought it was relocated, but they removed it completely. I, well, it was yeah. So, <clears throat> just the idea that we mm -hmm. move here, not really <laughs> with a plan at all, to this area, and end up near the space center, the rocket center, and this is Dave's has been his you know joy and. And passion for many many years um, in the um, uh, nautical not not nautical I did not mean to say that <coughs> I meant flying planes <laughs> um, but anyway are you looking at the, well yeah the... so this particular book uh, it's there's no numbers on the card so you have to and they're in category so you have to look up what category the card is in to find where it is in the book. So that's what I was doing. Oh, gotcha. Was okay. looking around in the book. But, of course, we don't need to read the information from the book. But it's interesting. So, it so I will too. I will read a couple excerpts. Okay. The message is, go beyond your limitation and believe that the impossible is possible. Do you ever remember wishing on a star when you were a child? 
and in your innocence believing that your wish would come true, the stargazer connects you with the energy of the cosmos and reminds you you have the ability to draw in support from the universe. And the extended message is, you are on the verge of a miracle. All of your dreams and aspirations are within your grasp, and you are being guided to focus on your vision. The angels who are with you are encouraging you. I love that. There is nothing you cannot have or achieve. So. That's perfect. That's perfect. What a beautiful segue, too, into this building of energy toward the end of this year, the beginning of the year. Um, I think we should probably go check on her. She's She's been out and playing all morning. As soon as we go in to start a video, now she wants to be back out here with us. Do you want to pick, let's pick another so, card first? And... Um, well, hang on just a second. I'm going to pause. <laughs> okay. So, I think we are done on that subject for the for the just for the moment. Mm -hmm. um, well, not done on it, but mm -hmm. so the next one, the next uh, deck I was guided to grab were the fairy cards. I haven't done any readings out of this one for a while, so I thought, well, we're out here with the elements, the elementals, um, and the fey realms, and so this is the oracle of the fairies. May you discover your fairy wings inside the sanctuary of your precious heart. And on the back is Lotus and Keys. So today, let's hope we find a new key to open a new door for all of us to discover more, something new and more, and something new and exciting um, and more about ourselves. For really, that is kind of the whole point to this game, if you will, is simply discovering more and more of all that you are. And let's usher in this new year and stop being afraid of of who that might be because i think we all might discover that there's a pretty amazing human being within us and to remind ourselves too your body is within your consciousness your consciousness is not within your body we have far more control than we think we do and the fairies are always with us Believe in magic. And this is almost the same color. I same almost I was looking at the colors of the last card. I was like just admiring them. Same frequency of colors. Believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern lights says you are a part of nature, so you are magical too. So to all everyone in the northern hemisphere beauty of the northern lights and it just so happens Believe with the, with the solar magic. flares going on the northern lights have been extending lower and lower mm, I didn't even know that um, and you know I say this a lot in my videos and I think I, I showed that the other day there's a little sign that I bought you know at the grocery store one day um, and it said you know uh, you are magic and to remind us all once again the the idea of thinking from a higher place is remembering that we're magic and believing it means that we get to be it and live it um the next one that flipped over protect your dreams you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them so seeing things from a higher perspective, believing that your magic protects your dreams. And then when, and then as soon as you're ready to release them, you release your magic out into the world. I like those cards too. That reminds me of the threshold of believability. Ooh. So when you're- Do tell. Wait, when you're ready to release them, really just means how long do you believe it's going to take you to do, to do that to follow your dreams is it five years is it one year so is it, it can be it can be immediately can be, but what's our it? what's our believability when are you gonna start following your dreams and next week how about tomorrow how and about how now? about what can we do to take one little tiny step toward that idea even if we can't realize realize make it real tomorrow 
the magic is in the moment. The magic's in the now. Where can we go with that? We go with that. Go with that. And we, it's and and sometimes that's <laughs> the magic is is where else it takes us. And the the last one I wanted to um, pull from is the animal spirit, the spirit, uh, the animal, the spirit animal oracle. Um, and to remind us all that we all have spirit animals that are with us, um, some from birth, um, some from millennia, some from some from many parallel or parallel parallel life to parallel life. Um, and everything we see around us, every single animal is a reflection of part of us. Everything, every single thing. I'm looking through these cards. Aren't they beautiful? And I love those fairy cards so it, much. I'm gonna start doing more fairy readings. So besides this, I just love them so much. Stargazing. So there are two. There are only two cards that happen to be upside down in this deck, which because we don't really care that much about being them upside down or not. Oh upside no, down. I always. There are two that were upside down. One was stargazing, which is. <laughs> You know, Almost the like the other of, one. Uh, oh my God! Same. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. So I guess that's we'll beautiful. And I love these colors, you guys. Mm -hmm. Perf the deep purples, the deep blues, it. the deep greens. And um, the other one, which was was my example, music. Oh. Now, listen carefully, for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door. So here's well, the music card. That's really funny, too, because my sister sent me a message last night, and I didn't see it till this morning when I woke up, and she actually sent me a YouTube clip of um, a band. And um, and so it's, it's a connection to our brother, uh, my, my younger brother, and... So it was a, a very, actually I started to listen to the song and I told Dave this morning, I said, nope, I'm too emotional. I have to, I have to listen to this later because <laughs> I could tell right away it was going to make me cry. And um, we were just getting ready to sit down and <laughs> do a reading. I'm like, oh, not now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so there's always messages in the music and this has been a part of my whole life. I've been singing all my life. Actually, I was in choir uh, from I don't know, until the, from the way I was like nine until I graduated high school and then a little bit into um, my adulthood. And so music has always been a very dear part of my life. And um, so, and, and it's uh, several of my family members have, are, are, have been in our musicians. Um, so there's always seems to be messages that reach us. And a lot of times at this time of year, we hear songs that you know repeat every year and it reminds us of our loved ones and remember too that sometimes when we feel this weird like aching sadness what that really is is us misinterpreting unconditional love that feeling of missing someone is really just remembering the love remembering the love and knowing that their vibration right now is unconditional love and that's what we're feeling inside how we interpret it we all interpret it based on con based upon our filters and beliefs but um but that's really what that is so so know what feels like a what feels like a heartache is really your heart identifying unconditional love and if we can experience it that way um and i'm, I'm being invited once again you know to to in my own personal life to experience these things this way um and to see things from a different perspective and understand that everyone has their journey um, and we're all sovereign beings. <laughs> we all exist forever and ever. You know, once you exist, you exist. And that, um, it, it, anyway, we could go on about that idea of the separation. And, and we'd love to hear from you too. So whatever messages you receive from this video and these cards that we're pulling, we'd love to hear how they apply to you. Or maybe a synchronicity. How they with you. Uh, it excites and, me to know that. <laughs> and, you know, if, if it is about something that you were thinking about doing but not actually doing it, even taking the action of replying in the comments or sending an email or, or whatever, it, it's an action, it is an action that moves things forward for you and opens up new possibilities and, and creates expansion. As you take an action in the physical world, 
you're allowing the universe to manifest it in the physical world as opposed to just you know in your imagination that's absolutely true and i will say that's been a big thing for me too lately is you know there's a lot of people who share themselves on youtube that i wouldn't be where i am taking the steps that i do without them they inspire me every single day to get out there do more be better be myself just by them doing and being themselves and so i've been commenting more on other people's videos showing my appreciation um because these are people who raise my vibration who inspire me to be more of me and that it's okay to find out you know who i am and and what other ways i have to share um and so i think that cycle that each of us doing that that beautiful mirror um uh is is really all of these reflections are um so beautiful and empowering and inspiring and so i am glad that you mentioned that about that because uh i have been also making that action taking that action to show others that gratitude and appreciation um because i know how it feels to second guess yourself and you do something and you're like want to upload the video and you're like you know, I don't know if I should, if, you know, <laughs> it's really, or even just making a video sitting out here in our sunglasses, you know. Um, but anyway, thank you for being here. The spirits residing in the natural world have much to share and the secrets of their forgotten language are now available to you. <clears throat> this is a big deck. I see those of fish in me, that's a motea. You can say something. Yeah, you, want to, you want me to shuffle? Oh, 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 oh. Mm. oh that's funny. <laughs> that's really funny, you guys. Coyote Spirit, number 16. And that adds up to seven. So seven is a very um, empowering number for Dave and I. Um, very synchronistic. Coyote Spirit, trust in divine detours. And there it is. Taking those actions, you guys, trust the divine detour. We take an action toward a particular thing and we're, we're, we're learning to follow our highest joy and excitement as far as we can, moment by moment. Whatever that moment is, whatever you can do in that moment, whatever your highest joy is in that moment, take it as far as you can with no expectation. So, same thing. Send that you know, send that comment, send that email, whatever, with no insistence on what's on any kind of outcome and trust in the divine detour. We always think that it's a de that the, de the detour isn't the path. The detour is the path. The detour is the divine path. The detour is the, the magic that happens after you create that, after you, after you create that action. Um, Don't be resistant to taking the detour. Yes. Because that's probably the path of least resistance to where you want to go. So there, there are many examples where uh, <laughs> Bashar, for instance, would talk about that you get messages in all kinds of different ways about taking the detour. And you don't know why you're taking it, but you're you're guided to take the detour and you think, I don't want to take the detour. I don't want to go the long way around, but you find out the bridge is out. Yep. The the high, you yeah. Your higher around. self sees the They're, bigger picture. You want to fall in the hole? Fall okay. In the hole, I guess. <laughs> but if you go this way, you won't fall, fall in the hole. Uh, and the, the, the examples continue. And, and I think the Diné say the coyote spirit is really just a, a a representation of the human person yes so while things like tricksters and and troublemakers and the coyote is always causing trouble but they're really representing the idea of the people so uh, and change I, I, I don't know that much about that so if you know a little bit more about it or if share it, that. yeah and if, if the coyote spirit is um, something that resonates with you to look up then it's something that may there's a message for you there as well i was actually looking at the idea on this particular one so that's that there's 16 7 lucky number lucky number 
-hmm. And I was, there's a lot of feathers in here, which I have always used, mm -hmm. many of us do. You can see this, you guys, in this light, but see on the coyote, the feathers. And feathers have always been di specific direct messages for me that, okay, I see the feather and it's like, the that the, that's the path that that even though that may have seemed like see, seeing that was a detour when I pick up those feathers it's like I know now that detour is my path and um, it, it, so it's it's just something that I I, I have feathers all over the house and um, and I, I wear them a lot well I mean I haven't in a while but I mean I would wear them a lot in videos and um, but so there's a lot more of me too that I that I love to explore and express in a lot of different ways, and um, so I'm also reminded to trust in the divine detours. It's sort of funny the other day when I was taking out the garbage. Uh, it was getting dark out, I think, and I thought I saw a feather, and it looked just like a feather. And I stopped and because typically I will pick up the feather and bring it to Wendy. Uh, <laughs> True. But it was just a leaf, but it looked exactly like a feather. And I realized it doesn't really matter if it was a feather or not, because to me, it looked like a feather. And that was enough of a that, symbol. Yeah. Because it literally put you in, well, and it actually put you in that, in that, that frequency right mm -hmm. away. You thought of the feather, you thought of me, you mm -hmm. thought of that idea. You know, and I have to say this, this was the next card, you guys, and this this is the last one. Horse spirit, freedom is yours, and the number is thirty three. So I think we all understand that this idea of Christ consciousness, the number thirty three, um, three three three, and the angels. That idea, um, I think, really is about remembering that we are free spirits. We really are free spirits. And the horse is a very grounding energy, um, very powerful energy. And to know that our power is in expressing ourselves freely. So if anybody was looking for permission to free yourself, Imagine the horse spirit. And I chose this animal also as one of my guides. As when I came to earth and this time around or however all that works in my consciousness that I chose this time of year to be born. Um, in the, We just passed Sagittarius. Um, the horse was my symbol, half man, half horse. That idea that I am free. I'm as free as I allow my belief systems to be and that 33 I was I just looked down and there it was and it's like that idea of the unity consciousness the 33 and, and all those things that number 33 represents and if and if you are interested in researching that kind of thing too look up the number 33 or look up 333 angel numbers but that idea of the 33 and we have 33 vertebrae I mean there's a lot of um, vibrational um, significance. significance. Thank you for that word behind that. So that's exciting to me. And I've actually been watching a lot of like farm related things and horses and cows. And <laughs> so that's kind of fun for me too. But the idea is that beautiful spirit. And I, I want to see if you guys can see that up close. I know it's the sun's kind of weird here, but the beautiful markings here too. So. I think without further ado then, oh, I can't even believe this. Now I'm just going to say, you guys, the next one was number 44. So angels, for sure. The panther spirit, reclaim your power. So 33, 44, you know, and if you guys, and I want to thank you guys for commenting. I, I know I go crazy with the screenshot stuff um, and posting these repeating numbers and, and, um, sequence different sequences and numbers it's like I'm I, I, I don't know how to explain it like I'm so it just happens I pick up my phone at that time I do a screenshot and I post it because it's like these sequences of numbers for some reason are are I'm guided that they're gonna mean something to somebody so I want to thank you for <laughs> you know um, 
uh, just commenting on it and, and uh, so I guess supporting me in that way. But I see it and it's like a message and it's like I'm guided to just send that message out there because it, 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 it evokes something in me and then so I think well maybe it'll evoke someone in someone else. So I appreciate all of your your uh, love and support when it comes to me posting these these repeating numbers all the time. Um, but I think it's to help other people like say, well, what does that mean to me? And what you know, what was I thinking about right now? And well, so we know that if we're excited to do something, we can't be excited to do something if there's not someone excited to receive it. And it might be one person. It might be a lot of people. It doesn't matter. Right. And we know that, the, I mean, the law of vibration, the law of attraction is going to let the person who is excited to see it, even if it's just one person, but it, it's never just one, but even, even if it's just one person, they will be led to see the thing because they're also excited to receive it. So it doesn't really matter if it seems stupid, uh, if it seems like nobody's going to care, if you have the excitement to do it, and especially if it's simple, something easy and simple to do. Right. Uh, and it is. It's just, it, it strikes it, you, you, And these repeating numbers and these number patterns <laughs> is, is sort of a collective understanding that they have built-in meaning, and the built-in yes. meaning could be different for everyone. And you could assign whatever meaning you want to them. Uh, for instance, like lucky number seven, it's sort of everybody knows seven is lucky. And for you and I, the seven, seven, seven thing, oh, means so, something is significant. Uh, um, but numbers add, out, add up to different things. So, for instance, you know, you might see license plates, and when they add up, they add up to eleven. They add up to eleven, eleven. Or sometimes I'll see like uh, three, six, nine, and I think, um, I think about Tesla. I think about that idea and about geometry. frequency and geometry and sacred geometry. It's like it it evokes, it activates so many synapses in my brain all at one time. And I have to say, I feel bad sometimes because, you know, Dave and I, um, you know how much we love eleven, eleven. We were married on eleven, eleven. Eleven, eleven is was kind of my weakening code, and. I will actually like. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I gotta get my. I gotta post it. I gotta post it because he he always likes to stop and kiss me and at that right at that time. And so, um, and thank you to those of you also who've commented on that, uh, Gabriel. <laughs> um, if you're watching this also, um, and so it's like I want to post that right away before you know while I can. And then I'm like, okay, you know, <laughs> and then I'll kiss him really quick. So yeah. So it's, it's sort of funny because uh, I know we talk a lot. Uh, I I often mention Bashar. Uh, people often ask him about repeating numbers and so forth, and it's sort of funny because the answer is, is typically that we've designed these repeating numbers to show up for us, to let us know we're following our highest excitement, we're on the right path for whatever it is that we're trying to achieve, and it's almost to the point that we need so many of reminders, these reminders <laughs> and confirmations that validations, and, and validations <laughs> that it, it's almost like he's almost acting as though it's silly already. You exactly. guys know what it is. It's like I feel that way too. It's don't, like you okay, even I don't even need to, keep to have them it. constantly. Well, you know, I but was reminded when you're not looking for them all the time, they just show up continuously. That's one of my first paintings. I forgot. It's actually. Um, I don't even remember what, uh, like angel numbers. That one of my very first paintings. It's it's got all the repeating numbers and it's zeros through nines, and it was like one of the first things I was guided to do because I'm like the repeating number person, you know. And and everyone throughout my whole life now, um, and especially you guys out there, you know, when you guys think of eleven eleven, now you think of me, and I'm thinking that's pretty awesome because it's not that you're thinking of me. You're thinking about the vibration of the excitement <laughs> of that idea. And um, if it happens to come through, you know, <laughs> thinking about me, that's awesome. But, you know, however we get there is however we get there. So, um, but I, I love that. And the, and that's the reason why I share my excitement about it, because there's so many other people that are also excited about that idea. And it's the idea of, yeah, the law of attraction. We're finding each other. Um, 
through simple ones. One, 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 one. And it's like, you know, and then when I think about, you know, when you break it down right to the be the very beginning of computer code, what is it? Ones and zeros, right? Mm -hmm. So, so anyway, I don't want to uh, prolong this anymore, um, but I wanted to thank you all for being here with us. We love you guys so much, and, and we've been really busy um, immersing ourselves in other ways of expressing ourselves. Um, Dave's been busily working on my website and adding things for download and working on the calendar and organizing my um, artwork. So um, all of the artwork is for sale. Um, all of the canvases are for sale. Um, we're just barely getting started with with uh, that idea. Um, so I wanted to right away at least offer some, some digital downloads. Of, of some of the artwork and we're getting them up as you know as quickly as we can um, so if there's anything that I can um, any way that I can serve you in any way at all um, you know just give me a holler <laughs> and Wendy does offer sessions which you can yep. book on the website as well Languages which include light language oracle readings um, any information I get for you all you know it's all on my website mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, please, mm -hmm. please check it out. And, and she usually will draw something and create symbols and, and something I have, for the sessions. I was going to say, I can't think during of, the sessions there hasn't the been session. a session that I've ever had in nine years mm -hmm. that I haven't, you know, been guided to create, you know, specific symbols for that person. And so, um, thank you for all your love, all your support, all your kindness, your comments, and of course, all that other YouTube stuff. So, um, we love you so much and we love doing these and we um, are really really getting our uh, uh, schedule together to do more kind of live stuff and zoom stuff and where you guys can come in and hang out in the zoom room with us and we can pull cards and play some music and do light languages and get the drums out and just do some fun stuff so um, yeah we're always we're always thinking about all of you and all of us and how we want to share our highest joy and excitement so thanks for being with us Mwah. happy holy days um to all of you uh, thank you for being in this vibration of we're all connected we're all one thing we're all part of this one beautiful existence and we're all going to exist always and that is a really exciting thought that there's always, always, always going to be more. And that is super freaking exciting. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And as the emissaries of the light told me, the light within me illuminates the light within you, and the light within you illuminates the light within me, and together, together, we illuminate the light of love in all that is. To Turkey. You are known, you are essential, you are loved, you are supported, you're always guided, um, you're always free. And we love you. Love you. Yeah.